Hi there out there in TV land. This is the Stack Monster here at the Joseph St. Lawrence Center in Hilburn, New York for a Sunday morning tilt between the New Jersey Thunder and 60 Minute Skills. They gave us a thrilling, thrilling game back in the spring tournament, the final tournament of the spring at Ramapo College where the New Jersey Thunder escaped a one point victory in the last minute. This morning on the Sunday morning, the 20th, I believe the 20th, let's check. Oh yeah, the 20th of, what month is it? Oh yes, it is October 2013. So get ready for some basketball action here on Stack Monster Productions. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And in fact they do in the opening tip. Deflected out of bounds by the skills. And the Thunder will have it. Scarlett Troop to inbound the ball from right in front of his own bench. A whistle right on the play. We get a shirt tuck right from the start by number three. He's all dressed up and ready to go. All dressed up with some place to go. And right now it's right in front of Ski Hill is where he went. So Ski Hill takes it left and gets it to Powell. Who hands it off to Leonard. Back to Ski Hill. Pump fake, step inside, the shot is blocked. But they whistle a personal foul on Skills. That'll put Bob the Builder to the free throw line for two shots with 15 minutes and 36 seconds on the clock. I took my camera up just a little bit. Signorelli sets. Free throw is off. Hit the right side of the rim and bounced away. But Signorelli gets another one. That's off the back of the iron. An offensive rebound by Leonard, the most intense man in the world with the miss. And there's an outlet pass to number three for Skills. He floats it with the right hand. No good. The Thunder came down with it, but out of bounds, and Skills will reset with the score knotted at zero. Layup is good, 2-0, Skills in the lead with 15, 17 to go in the first half. They did get the clock right, two 16 minute halves. Thunder get it over half court. There was full court pressure by 60 minute Skills. Floater by Ski Hill is good, 2-2. Two to two. Thunder look to play some defense. Keep 60 minute skills out on the perimeter, away from the rim. There's a three. Too short. Run down by Scarlet Chuk. Scarlet Chuk finds Signorelli. They swing it to the left. Ski Hill takes it baseline. Shot is rejected out of bounds. Thunder will reset. 14-25. Sixty-minute skills coach calling for active hands. Scarlet Chuk with a look from the corner. It's an air ball. Number three comes down with it. Outlet to zero to the basket. Signorelli gets whistled on the floor for the personal foul. That'll be the first on Signorelli. Two to two with 14-14 on the clock. Very symmetrical. Spin move to the left, another foul. Number six, Aaron Powell with the personal. This will result in two shots. Skills looks aggressive to the rim. Thunder will have to match. The lefty is good. Three to two with 14.03 on the clock. One more to come. Lefty is off to the left on that. Signorelli grabs it. Signorelli gets fouled. Two minutes elapsed. Thunder with the ball. They trail 3-2. Full court pressure. Ski Hill over Scarlet Troop. Scarlet Troop back to Ski Hill. It's got Leonard. He finds him. Leonard down low. Just a little bit high to Bob the Builder and out of bounds. Skills with it, 13.45 on the clock. 
Meanwhile, Hoop Dreams and Wayne Piel are all knotted up at two with 12 minutes to go in the first half. The winner of this game plays the loser of that game and vice versa, or vice versa, or whatever. Thirteen and a half to go here in this game. A hand up in the face forces an altered shot by Apow. Scarlet Troop in the middle, nice feed in to Leonard, but number 35 was there defensively for 60 minute skills. To negate the scoring opportunity for the Thunder, number three gets called for a suitcase. That was predicated by the stellar defense by the Thunder. Thunder have it. Evan Locke, number 14, and number one, Jared Buzz, into the game for the Thunder. Powell has it. He finds Signorelli on the left. Signorelli spins, banks it off the glass, no good. Rebound by Leonard. Hook shot is no good, but another rebound by Bob the Builder. And Bob the Builder will take it to the line for two. He was no good on his first two attempts. He looks to redeem himself here as a thunder trail, three to two with 12.44 on the clock. Two free throws could put the thunder in the lead. First one is an NBN or nothing but net. Hello. Second shot is off the front of the rim. We got no uh, point for that first one. Which makes me wonder, was there a lane violation on the Thunder as the score remains 3-2? to two? It was 3-2 to two when Signorelli went to the line. He made one of two and the score is still 3-2. to two. You do the math. Something is amiss. And that was an air ball by the Thunder. Oh, there we go. It's all tied up at three. Zero to the rim. Shot is no good. Run down by Signorelli. Over to Lock. Lock. Over to Leonard. Lock and Leonard. Oh, we have a foul as Apow hits the deck. What a play by the cameraman. Woohoo! Whoa, I kicked my tripod. Reset. Sam Stackhouse checks into the game for the Thunder. There's a look by Buzz. Buzz falling away with a forearm to the chest, drains it from three-point land, and the Thunder with a three-point lead with 11.55 to go in the first. Spin move by number three, off to the left. Offensive rebound, there's a whistle. Thunder will pick it up, that'll be Kevin Leonard with his first free throw, number 24 to the line for 60-minute skills. Meanwhile, back in Kansas, also known as the adjacent court. We have a shot by Wayne P.A.L. and it's good. And Wayne P.A.L. leads Hoop Dreams by a score of 11 to seven with 9.13 on the clock. And back here in the homeland, Stackhouse has it after the second free throw is good. Stackhouse over the lock, into the middle to Powell. Thunder lead 6-4, Buzz rattles in, rattles out. Rebound, lock has it, no. Number three pulls it away for Skills. Skills can tie or take the lead with a bucket here. There's a three, no good. Offensive rebound, no, blocked by Buzz. Blocked out of bound. Who was that blocked the ball? It was Jared, of course. Not to be confused with the diamond dealer, Jared. Turnaround, no good. Rebound Buzz. Buzz out to Stackhouse. Stackhouse through the middle. Oh, the ball goes through the hands of Powell, but Locke comes up with it. 11 minutes to go, six to four, baseline. There's an open look, no, Locke with the defender on him, bounces it to Stackhouse, gets called for the suitcase. Oh, and Stackhouse's three-pointer was good, but to no avail, as the suitcase preceded the shot. For those of you new to Stack Monster production, a suitcase is also known as a travel because when the stack monster goes traveling, he always makes sure to pack a suitcase. And there's a layup 
tying the score for 60 minute skills. Stackhouse on the floor. There's a whistle. Anthony Focacci checks into the game for the Thunder. There's a turnover on the Thunder. 60 minute skills has it. Buzz goes for the steal. 35 drives into a cutter. Easy layup for an 8 6 lead with 10 22 on the clock. Stackhouse takes it. Backcourt floats it up to Vuz. Over two defenders. Vuz gets bumped into. No call. Ball's deflected out of bounds. Will belong to 60 minute skills. Stackhouse with a nice little floater pass right over the defense in the Vuz. Vuz did get fouled, but there was no call. Pump fake to the basket. No good. Rebound by 43. Layup extends the lead to 10 6. Four 60 minute skills with 9.56 to go. Stackhouse takes it. Two men in the backcourt guarding him, so he bounces it right into Buzz. Now they have a mismatch in the Focacci. Focacci, too strong on the layup attempt. 60 minute skills has it. Another layup attempt as the Thunder, unable to get back, prompts a timeout by the Hammer, who is not happy with the Thunder's defensive presence out there. And he's letting him know, well, let's go in tight and see if the veins are bulging in the hammer's neck. I'm sure they are. We quite don't have the equipment necessary to pick up a bulging vein, but we know they must exist. And right now, what exists for the Thunder is the reality of a six-point deficit with 9.30 and o'clock and a timeout here on the Thunder Television Network. Thunder have it. They trail by six. Stackhouse with the ball in the backcourt. Over to Lock. Lock to Stackhouse. Oh, there's Buzz down the middle. He can't connect. There's a fight for the loose ball. Skills has it. The ball's loose. Tipped away by Leonard. Leonard, oh, they call him for a walk. A suitcase for the most intense man in the world. That was a great offensive look for the Thunders. They moved it in, and Takachi found a cutting buzz to the basket. Wait, they talk about it, the officials do. But the call stands, and the Thunder need to come up with a stop as they trail by six with 9.18 to go in the first half. Thunder have given up way too many, far too many layup attempts here. Good defense by Locke, as he got a hand on number three as he tried to spin to the right. Number zero out, there's a look, Buzz flies by and he launches, and that's a three point shot. And that's a nine point lead as the Thunder need to find something offensively. As I make another play, I find the open man and he's ready to inbound the ball. That was a nice pass by the stack monster, although I think I strained a rotator cuff. We'll have to look at that later. Stackhouse with the ball. Thunder need a bucket in the worst way. He tried to get it to Leonard. Leonard was covered, so he swung it back out to Powell. Stackhouse with the ball. Stackhouse is trapped. He finds a man in Fakachi. Over to Leonard. Leonard into a cutting. Fakachi. He hesit hesitates and banks it in. And the Thunder are off the schneid. 15 to 8. A steal by Leonard. Leonard has Powell. Leonard gets fouled. Probably not a bad foul by the skill masters. Scarlet Troop back into the game for the Thunder. Ski Hill has it. Surveys the territory, finds an open Leonard. Leonard decides to pass on the shot as Zero was there. 15 to 8, Thunder need a bucket. There's a steal. Steele's pass was intended for Leonard or Focacci, but the defender was there to come up with it. There's a foul by the Thunder. I think they caught Focacci. 
and they did. That'll be the first, I believe, on Focacci. Uh, Signorelli will check back into the game after the first free throw. 7.39 on the clock. Thunder Trail 15-8. to eight. Skills to the line for two. First one is good, 16-8. Meanwhile, Wayne Pal is up with five minutes to go by score of 21-14. Signorelli grabs the board. Leonard, for the man in front. Leonard gets called for a suitcase. He ran into a man, and the call went against the Thunder. Turnovers. And easy layups down the other end right now are the difference in the game as the Thunder Trail 16 to 8. Signorelli, the passive skill is a little high. He comes down with it. He's down on the floor. Ball goes out of bounds off of Signorelli. Pass inside to the big man, he rolls it in for a 10 point lead, the largest lead of the game for Skills. Skills pass is picked off by Zero. In the number one, it's gonna be another layup. No, he misses. Skills has it back. They swing it out to number three. Cross court, Zero to the rim. Powell was there. Paul, ah, Powell. Powell picks up the offensive foul. He picks up the charge. Ski Hill. Over to Scarlachuk. He floats it over to Signorelli. Nice save by Signorelli as he went up high in the sky to get it. Powell strong. Powell will go to the line for two. He was rejected from behind by zero, but he got fouled. Thunder need to chip away. They trail by double digits, 18 to eight, but still plenty of time to go in the game. In fact, 6-18 left in the first half. Powell looks to start right now, but the Thunder are not effective from the free throw line. They've missed four of their first five. Make that five of their first six. Oh, what a difference those free throws could be making right now. Even four of them would keep, have it as a four-point game, but the reality is an eight-point deficit, or ten-point deficit, excuse me, for the Thunder. Rebound by Signorelli. Signorelli out to Scarlachuk. Scarlachuk up the middle. Out to Powell. Powell gets stripped as he attacks the basket. And Skills has it. have a carry on number one. The carry is almost as good as a suitcase because, let's face it, unless you got one of those rolling long jobs, you have to what? Carry the suitcase, right? So anyway, back to live action. The Thunder turn it over once again. Vuzz, though, steals it right back. Vuzz with one man to beat. Up and under and in as Vuzz cuts it to eight. Back to single digits for the Thunder. With 5.17 to go, skills up, 18 to 10. Skills shoots a three, does the Thunder a favor as they now have possession again, and a foul by number zero as I go for some more water. Timeout on the play. I think it was timeout red, I'm not sure. Timeout by 60 minute skills with 5.02 on the clock and skills leading the New Jersey Thunder by a score of 18 to 10. And here at the Joseph St. Lawrence Recreation Center, Hilburn, New York, you are watching Stack Monster Productions and the Thunder Television Network.
Hills has it with a six point lead. Inside, turnover, Stackhouse was on him like flies on flypaper and the Thunder came up with the turnover. Stackhouse over to Locke, Locke is off the back rim. Signorelli out of nowhere to run it down. Fades away, banks it off the back rim. Focacci fights for it. Focacci goes up strong, he misses, gets it back again. It's coming my way, Vuzz tries to save it. Who was that tried to save that? It was Jared again. Takachi trying his best in there to put that ball in the basket. It just wouldn't go down. The Thunder need to get it back. Thunder needs some points. But it starts. Good offense starts with good defense. And Locke comes up with it. No, it's on the ground. There's a whistle. Good defense as I saw Vuzz, Locke, and Stackhouse over there trapping the ball handler and the Thunder get it. Possession. And that was a personal foul and that would be the 10th team foul for 60 minute skills with two and a half to go and Locke at the line. He locks and loads and delivers the front end of the one and one. Locke Locks and loads one point. He gets, gets the ball, puts the bullet back in the chamber. He locks, he loads, he launches, and he delivers another one. 18-14, a four-point game. Okay, Signorelli got a hand in there. Vuzz got a block, but Vuzz also got a piece of flesh in the process. And that'll be two free throws for the 60 Minute Skills squad. That'd be Vuzz. I'm not sure whether that's a first or second on Vuzz. As the game goes on, it gets harder and harder to keep track of such things. First free throw is off to the right. We have halftime in the game between Hoop Dreams and Wayne PAL. And Wayne PAL with a 15 point lead, 36 to 21. Second one is a miss. Leonard has it, over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse finds Locke on the left side. Locke, cross to Leonard. Leonard thinks about it, over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse, head fake, drives to the lane, nothing there, back out to Locke. Thunder just need to keep moving the ball, get the defense off balance. Inside to Ficacci, Ficacci will go to the line for the one and one as he's contacted by number 24 of the Skill Masters. Kachi, one and one. Kachi's first one is nothing but net. One more and he's a member of the NBN League, the nothing but net league. Not, not to be confused with the NBA, the nothing but air league. Second one rattles around, does not go down. Skills with the ball and a three point lead, 18 to 15. Stackhouse picks up his man at half court, forces the pass out to the right. Lock is there, locked and loaded on the defensive end. Vuzz goes for the steal, but he's able to get back, take away to drive to the basket at the same time. Good quickness by Vuzz. Lock on his man, 136 on the clock. A switch out, here comes Leonard, Stackhouse. Gets around the screen, stays with his man. Help defense by Locke, 14 is open, no good. Skills come down with the offensive rebound and they reset with a three point lead. 116 on the clock. There's a three pointer, no good. This time box out and rebound by Leonard. He's got Locke, Locke to the left. Buzz, Buzz to the basket. Buzz gets blocked. 55 seconds to go. Thunder had trailed by 10, they now trail by three. As they picked it up on the defensive end here in the last three, four minutes of the game. Need help defense. There's a miss. We have a personal foul. They call a hold 
on Stackhouse. That'll be his first. Not a bad idea, considering man was ready to catch and shoot an easy attempt in close. Now the Thunder will have a chance to reset their defense with 38.8 on the clock. Thirty-five has it. Stackhouse guards his man. We have a whistle. And they call an offensive foul or perhaps a five-second violation. Is that a five-second? Five-second violation on 60-minute skills. Stackhouse with a good defense on that. He brings it up, hands it off to Vuzz. Vuzz swings it to the left. Leonard has it. Vuzz cutting it a basket. Back to Focacci. Oh, it worked to perfection, but the layup was no good. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Good defense by Vuzz and Lock. Vuzz and Lock say, you're not shooting this ball. And the Thunder close out a 7-0 run to go to halftime trailing by only three by a score of 18 to 15 here on the Thunder Television Network. Here we are getting ready to start second half action on the Thunder Television Network. 60 minute skills with a three point lead to start the half. 16 minutes of action left to go in the game. Skills was up 18 to eight and Thunder close it out with a 7-0 run in the last three and a half minutes to bring us to the point we are at right now. Both teams, both coaches think they should be up and up by more. There's a foul on the floor. They call APOW number six with his second personal. Thunder look to keep the defensive pressure going. That's gonna be, that's gonna be on Signorelli. Bob the Builder picks up a foul be his second or his third. This one will result in two free throws as this was not a Jennifer Lopez on the floor foul. This was of the shooting variety and the first one is good. 19 to 15 skills. The lefty is money on the second one. 20 to 15. Five point deficit. Full court pressure by Skills. Skill lost the handle. I think it was deflected from behind by Skills. The Thunder, oh, the Thunder go back to their errant ways on the defensive end and have given up four in a row and now trail 22 to 15. A once promising three point deficit. Oh, inside the APOW. APOW. Off his thigh and out of bounds. That's two turnovers in a row for the Thunder. And they're staring at a possible six or seven point swing, depending on what happens on this possession. And this results, and it's a 6 0 run to open the half. Signorelli gets tied, no, Steel gets tied up to start on the inbound. No, this is a possession though, favors the Thunder as they dodge a bullet on that play. Skihill, though, crosses up his man, gets through, and he gets fouled as he splits the defense and takes a hit from number 14. The Thunder, however, came in at halftime trailing by three, and they now trail by nine as they're going to have to claw their way back up that mountain once more. Scarlet True has it over to Leonard. Leonard to the right in the Signorelli. Fade away jumper, no good. Signorelli gets it back. Signorelli gets fouled. He tries to get the continuation in the bucket, but it was not to be. And with 14 13 on the clock, Signorelli will go to the line trying to shave and cut into a nine point deficit. The Thunder Trail 24 to 15. And the Thunder Troubles continue from the free throw line. Second one is no good as Signorelli is 0 for 2 from the stripe and the Thunder still trail by 9. Signorelli gets a piece of it. Ball's loose. Skills 
with it. Behind the back to the basket. We call a jump ball. Skills will have possession on this one. Two minutes gone in the second half. Thunder have yet to score. Skills on a 6-0 run. They lead by nine. Powell out on the defensive end. Picked up a couple of quick fouls. He and Signorelli early. Drive to the basket. Signorelli got it from behind. Bob the builder with the strong hands. But can the Thunder make them pay for that turnover on the other end? Signorelli from three. No good. Too short. Powell comes back up with the rebound and he gets hacked. And Thunder have it. 13-26 on the clock. Thunder down by nine. Skiho with the ball. Takes it baseline. Back out to Signorelli. Signorelli spin move, shot. Air ball, Skarlachuk. He gets the rebound. Skiho grabs another board. Pull up jumper, mid-range jumper, no good. Thunder can't buy a basket. Even with money as they pick up the foul. Perhaps a nice crisp $20 bill might help the Thunder buy a basket. We shall see. Right now, the skills are at the line with a nine point lead, 24 to 15. As I count my money and stick it back in my pocket, 12.58 on the clock. Jared Buzz checks into the game for the Thunder, number one. First free throw is no good. Second one is no good. Rebound by Leonard. Still plenty of time for the Thunder. Oh, wide open to Buzz. Buzz finds a cutting Scarlet Troop. No good. As the Thunder miss again. Not even a crisp, clean $20 bill can stem the tide for the Thunder. There's a three-second violation on number 24. Four minutes gone here in the second half. The Thunder have yet to score. Skihill tries to get around. It goes right through the wickets of Scarlet Troop. And the Thunder with another turnover. A 9-0 run. They've been outscored 9-0. Check that. Oh, forget it. I can't throw my mouth. What were they? Oh, 18-13. Uh, Make that a 6-0 run. They've been outscored 6-0 here in the second half. Could it be 8-0? Yes. 8-0. 12-0-2 on the clock. 26-15. Buzz finds Scarlet Troop. Scarlet Troop. Loses the handle. Leonard comes up with it. In the ski hill. Ski hill. No good. Rebound skills. Foul. Thunder. Scarlet Troop with the foul. Lock into the game. Eleven forty to go. Tip by Buzz. Skills comes up with it, rebound, foul. They got Scarlet Troop with his second personal in a row. Free throw rolls around, doesn't go down. With 11 and a half to go, Stackhouse and Focacci check into the game. Second free throw to come. Rattles around, this one does go down. And the Thunder trail by 12, their largest deficit of the game. Bacacci with the ball, out to Stackhouse. Stackhouse swings it over to Buzz. Buzz gets his shot blocked from three point range. And there's a layup. Twenty nine to fifteen deficit for the Thunder. Block with the ball. It's hard to believe the Thunder once trailed eighteen to fifteen. Now Leonard with the quick pass to Hikachi. Thunder bobbled the ball though. 
And it went out of bounds. And that's Blatt's touch apparently by 60 minute skills as Stackhouse will inbound the ball with 10.54 on the clock. He finds Kikachi over to Lock. Lock to Stackhouse. Stackhouse spins. Takes it baseline. Throws it up. He looked for a call. He did not get it. Bounce pass. Stolen by Signorelli. Out of bounds. Last touched off the leg of number one. Stackhouse with the ball. Thunder trail. 29 to 15. Has it to Leonard. Leonard, one more pass over to Focacci. Out of bounds. The Thunder cannot protect the ball. As they're turning it over left and right. And they've been outscored 11 to nothing here in the second half. With almost six minutes gone, they've not been able to convert on the offensive end. Signorelli picks up a personal foul on that. There's a jump shot off the mark. 33 comes up with it, tips it back out, and Skills gets another possession. And a foul and a bucket. The bucket is good. The Thunder to the trail by 16. 31 to 15. We get to put the points up, but the bucket was good. The second one is good. Should be 32 to 15. There's a timeout on the play by the Hammer. We'll get the scoreboard right. We take a timeout here on the Thunder Television Network. Or was it 27 to 15? And three makes it 30, perhaps. 9.50 to go. Timeout. Thunder break the huddle. They trail by 15. Stackhouse has it. Over to Lock. Lock into Focacci. Over to Signorelli. Back to Leonard. Leonard with a look. No good. They're as cold as ice. They're willing to sacrifice the game. Oh, oh the pain, as Joe Beningo would say. Thunder held scoreless. With almost seven minutes gone in the half. And another layup as they get beat down low. And they trail 32 to 15. Stackhouse over to Focacci. Focacci to the basket. Signorelli comes up with a loose ball. Out to Leonard. Signorelli. Signorelli gets that shot blocked. Lock gets good defensive position. Not a bad job by Lock. He says you may get the foul, but you're not going to get the easy bucket. Rattles around, goes down 33 to 15. Kachi has it, he's got Stackhouse on his wing. Throws it a little too wide and out of bounds. No, they call the kick ball on 60 minute skills. Throw it away. The layup is no good. 
Picacci has it. Find Stackhouse. Stackhouse over to Signorelli, and finally the Thunder score in the second half. Stackhouse with the feed to Signorelli. They call an offensive foul on skills. The Thunder have seven minutes left. They just need to take it one possession at a time as APAL checks back into the game. Lock back court to Powell. Back to Lock. 34 to 17. Hand off to Stackhouse. Stackhouse swings it left. Cuts to the middle. Through. Powell has it. Powell with a lane to the basket. He gets the foul, he'll go to the line, and that'll stop the clock. You know, you look back on all the missed free throws, even if they hit five or six of those, it could be a chance to cut it to single digits right now. But that's not the case. As Powell, however, is the one man who has come through at the free throw line. That one is no good, however. Can Focacci save it? He does. And it's out of bounds, and Focacci gets the Thunder another possession. With 7.29 to go, they trail 34 to 18. That's a 16 point deficit. They're gonna need some outside shooting. Stackhouse may have a look there. And he drains it! Call Roto Rooter! That's the name, and they'll knock that bucket down the drain. 34 to 21. Almost a walk. He keeps his plant foot, though. Move to the basket, no good. Can Powell come down with it? Powell does, Powell has it. Powell to Stackhouse. Stackhouse sees the court, finds Leonard, cross to Powell, he steps into a three. Off the side of the rim, loose ball. Back, tough defense by the Thunder. Does Powell steal it? Powell does, bounces it to Leonard. Leonard, turn around, it's in! The Thunder on a bit of a run. And there's a whistle and a timeout by 60 minute skills as the Thunder are on an 8-0 run and they close the gap to nine points with 6.45 to go here on the Thunder Television Network. Stackhouse, Locke, Powell, Leonard, and Focacci on the floor. Pressure, defensive pressure by the Thunder. They trap. We have a three second violation. That's the second three second violation in the last five minutes for 60 minute skills. Stackhouse over to Lock. Lock back to Stack. Stack up the middle, floats it in the middle to Leonard. Leonard, they swing it around. Focacci with a look. Focacci launches, no good. Just a little bit short. Lock goes for the steal, not there. Stackhouse is back. Leonard is back. Powell is back. They're trapping, they're trapping. And oh, they call the personal foul on 23. Good defensive presence as Leonard takes a deep breath, relaxes and says, I'll get him next time. 6.01 to go in the game. Powell got a hand on it. Can Picacci come up with it? No. 43 tipped it away, ran it down and Skills has it with 5.55 on the clock. Skills 34, Thunder. Into the middle, no good. Rebound Leonard. Leonard Tipped from behind, saves it to Stackhouse. Stackhouse to the middle, Tack Stackhouse. Gets it out to Lock, Lock and load and too strong. Skills has it, Thunder got the look they wanted. Whistled down low. Looks like Stackhouse took a poke to the eye. Is he okay? He's wobbly, he'll be okay. Stackhouse out last two weeks with a concussion. Well, Thunder had the look they wanted. They just can't seem to get those shots to go down consistently. They're doing good trapping the ball, though. Good trapping style of defense has got them back in this game. Ski Hill picks up the slack where Stackhouse left off. Into the middle, Ski Hill got a hand in there. I think he'll get whistled for the personal. He does. Two shots, but the clock does stop. Perhaps the skills can pick up the free throw fever that the Thunder had and miss a couple and keep the Thunder in the game. The first one is long off the back of the iron. 
11 point lead. I think I said nine earlier. I was wrong. It's an 11 point lead. 34 to 23. Powell has, he bounces it into Focacci. Focacci strong! Focacci converts! And now it is a nine point lead, 34 to 25. Locke staying with his man. Leonard is in, Leonard tips it away! Falls loose in the backcourt. We have a timeout by the skills coach with 440 to go in the game. Skills leads the Thunder by a score of 34 to 25. At one point it was 34, I believe 34 to 15, I'm not sure. We have a timeout here on the Thunder Television Network. 2.54 to go. Skills has it. Stolen by Leonard. Leonard going the wrong way. Leonard lost his... Somebody buy that man a compass. <laughs> Leonard, Leonard saw the basket. He says, I'm dunking this. I'm jamming this mama home. But uh, much to his chagrin, he was going south when he should have gone north. They call a push on Stackhouse, his second personal. Come on, Tim, let's go. That'll be the 10th team foul on the Thunder as they'll put skills to the line for the one and one. 2.42 to go. Thunder trail by nine, 38 to 29. Front end of the one and one is good. 10 point deficit. And the Thunder look back at this game, they're gonna look at that 11 or 12 0 run to start the second half. The poorest defense at times, the easy layups, and the inability to put the ball in the basket when they had good looks. Stackhouse has a look. Stackhouse is a little short. Scarlett Troop tries to grab it, but he can't, goes off of his hands. for the Thunder now is with 2.25 on the clock and a 10 point deficit. 60 minute skills can sit back knowing that they're gonna try to shoot the three. Number 16 has it down low and the layup and it's an even dozen. And the Thunder just gonna have to throw some shots up and hope they can nail a couple three pointers late in the game and make skills sweat. Stackhouse drives to the basket, floats it up and he'll get two shots. That does stop the clock. Forty-one to twenty-nine. That cast can cut it to ten with two free throws. But that free throw FT fever hits again. FTF free throw fever. The inability to see clearly and knock down a free shot. And the Thunder have been stricken with free throw fever, FTF, here in the first game on a Sunday morning. On the 20th, they trail by 11. Down low, easy layup attempt. As the Thunder have to take some defensive chances, they're going to lose this game. But will they close it out with some heart? Of course, they need those shots. That could have been construed as a carry, but... Missed layup, ball goes out of bounds. Backhouse touched it last. Minute and a half to go. Thunder trail by 13. Skills is just gonna pull it out and take some time off the clock, it looks like. Goes out, ooh, nice save by number 16. Saving my tripod. Ken Thunder steal it away, ball's loose. Stackhouse tries to come up, Scarlet Chuck comes down. They call the travel as number three got on the ground but rolled around with it. Rolling around on the ground equals a suitcase. Ski Hill has it, Stackhouse from three. Stackhouse off the rim, rebound by the Thunder. Signorelli to Scarlet Chuck, he banks it off the glass with less than a minute to go. 43 to 32. Thunder will be rewarded 
by playing the bigger opponent in the next game. Stolen. Bocacci got a hand on it. Stackhouse came up with it. 45 seconds out to Signorelli. Signorelli to Ski Hill. Ski Hill in the lane. Short gets it back. There's a foul on the floor. Clock stops. Nicole Red Zero. As my voice starts to fade, you hate to lose your voice off a loss, but sometimes that happens. Stackhouse takes it back for it. 33 seconds to go. Stackhouse drives to the basket. Nothing's there. Floats it. Oh, and in. Forty-three to thirty-four. Fourteen seconds. That'll be the end of the game. Ten seconds. Ski Hill still playing strong, playing with pride. Four seconds, and the Thunder will swallow a nine-point loss as they let this game slip away. They had their chances, but you tip your cap to the opponent because the end of the day. When the job needed to get done, 60 minute skills got it done, and they come away with a third 43 to 34 lead. This is the Stat Monster saying, see you later.